These books are so funny. Funny? Funny how? Just in the way they're written. Oh, these books are clowns? These books are here to amuse you? Hold on a minute. Hey readers, welcome back to another episode of Six Picks. I'm Abby. And I'm Jess. And today we're talking about six funny books that have kept us laughing out loud. These books will bring the chuckles, the giggles, the guffaws, and we definitely think they'll make you belly laugh. My first pick is We Are Never Meeting in Real Life by Samantha Irby. Samantha Irby is a comedian and also the blogger of Bitches Gotta Eat. This book details her life experiences so far, from her difficult childhood to her romantic endeavors to her difficult relationship with her cat, Helen. You'll definitely laugh out loud, but also may shed a tear because this is raw, real, and relatable in all the best ways. My first pick is New Erotica for Feminists, written by Caitlin Kunkel, Brooke Preston, Fiona Taylor, and Carrie Whitmer for hysterical comedy writers who picture a world in which all erotica is written by feminists. So these fantasies include equal pay, a <laughs> gender balanced Congress, hot actors delivering cases of La Croix, and my personal favorite, a boss who pulls an employee into his office and closes the door only to promote her over and <laughs> over and over again. These little vignettes will have you absolutely screaming with laughter, and this is a great book to give to any girlfriend. My second pick is Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns by Mindy Kaling. If you haven't yet heard of Mindy Kaling, you should probably reevaluate your life choices. <laughs> Definitely. She's a comedian and an actress, and this book is about her many thoughts on day-to-day -day life from diet culture to fame to what makes a best friend. You'll definitely laugh out loud while you devour this book. My second pick is The Assistance by Camille Perry. We follow Tina Fontana in this book, who is a 30-something assistant who makes an absolute pittance assisting a boss at a media company who makes millions of dollars. So when one tiny mistake on his expense report causes her to get reimbursed a few extra thousand dollars and she uses that to start paying off her student loans, well, she quickly devises a plan to help herself and then help other underpaid assistants. This is a hysterical romp that we kind of wish would come true. Oh, yeah. My third pick is Do This For Me by Eliza Kennedy. This book is crackling, provocative, sexy, witty. Yes, I am reading that from the back of the book. But actually, this is about Rainey, a woman who has it all, a great job at a prestigious law firm, a loving husband, and amazing twin daughters. But when she receives a phone call about some not so great news um, regarding her husband, she goes a little bananas and completely blows up her life. This is about her journey to understanding herself and why men and women treat each other the way that they do. My third pick is Everything is Trash, but it's okay by Phoebe Robinson. Phoebe is one half of Two Dope Queens, the hysterical duo. If you haven't heard their podcast, go check it out. This book is filled with essays that touch on the hilarious, like the craziness of reality TV and how dating is a total dumpster fire. And the serious, like intersectional feminism and her own money troubles. This book will make you laugh and touch your heart in equal measure. Hey Jess, why did Shakespeare write with ink? Why? Because he couldn't decide which pencil to use. To be or not to be. Wow. And there you have it, readers. If you think we missed a book, let us know in the comments or tweet at us at Read It Forward. And for even more great book recommendations sent straight to your inbox, sign up for our weekly newsletter at readitforward.com slash subscribe.